first on the list if you're always looking to save a little bit of money so that you can make it go further, especially as you're starting out. You're going to want to make that money stretch as far as you can and buy the most tools, get the most bang for the buck, as they say. YouTube. I know you're thinking like, how's YouTube going to help me save money? Check these guys out on YouTube. Some of the best guys to follow, subscribe to them. I'm not associated with them. As far as I know, none of them even know who I am. But I watch a lot of their stuff and they're always posting deals. Check these guys out. So the first one I'm gonna recommend in no particular order, check out Jeff Ostroff. He has about a hundred and something thousand subscribers at this point, but he consistently posts deals on tools that he's finding. Follow him and you get notifications. He'll keep you up to date on a lot of the tools that you're looking for. We're talking deals from Lowe's, Home Depot, and online, so he's good to follow. Next on the list, and probably my favorite out of the bunch, Toolboss. Toolboss goes into the store, takes his camera in there. He'll show you Home Depot, Lowe's, that sort of thing. It's like being in the store with him. He's pointing out the deals. He keeps up with it relentlessly. So you know when he says, hey, this product is on sale and you're actually gonna save some money. I've watched a lot of his videos. He keeps up with the online stuff as well. And he posts videos of those, just screen sharing his, uh, what he's finding online. He's gonna keep you up to date on the top deals that you can find to save you some money on tools. He also uh, finds hacks that you can use to save even more money, whether it be adding certain tools, combos together to save the most money, coupon codes, that sort of thing. He is an excellent follow. If you're gonna follow anybody else out of these people that I'm recommending on uh, YouTube, go Toolboss. There'll be links in the description below to his channels, as well as the other ones I'm talking about. Toolboss posts daily and sometimes multiple times a day. So you're always gonna be on top. He keeps on top of these tool deals like nobody else I've seen. He is an excellent follow. Next on the list is Den of Tools. This is by far not my favorite channel, uh, but they do have good deals. It's a talking animated bear. It's just not my speed. They do post a lot of good deals on tools to help you save some money. I just, it's just not my thing. I'm not into watching a talking bear. Another channel is Toolhead147. He's an up and comer. He's setting at a little over 5,000 subscribers at the time of this video. He's doing a good job. You probably help him out if you go follow him. He's posting good deals as well. So it's always good to follow multiple people because somebody might pick up on a deal that you haven't seen before, especially if it's something you're in the market for and you've been holding out for. VCG Construction, it's the biggest channel of this group. He's at over 300,000 subscribers. He posts deals a lot. And he also goes into the store and takes his camera in there and explains the deals to you. He's a pretty good follow. I recommend him and Toolboss out of the package, but the other ones are all good. Just check those guys out. They're gonna help you save money on hand tools, power tools, that sort of thing. Second on the list, I do this every morning. I sit down after I cook my breakfast. While I'm eating breakfast and drinking coffee, I have it set up on my laptop. First thing I'm gonna do when I sit down is read my Bible. You should read your Bible. It's food for the soul, brother. I read it on uvirgin.com. Keeps up with it. They got daily reading plans. It's good stuff. You should go check it out. After I do that, I have a tab in Chrome that just says morning. I, I just open, there's like 13 tabs in there and it opens all 13 of those. On that tab, every single morning, I have Home Depot, Lowe's, and so, several other deal sites set up that when they open up, I'm able to see the deals of the day. Home Depot, Lowe's, Ace Hardware, that sort of thing. Those type websites will have a deal every single day. That's where you can save some serious money on some tools if that's what you're looking for. Now, Home Depot and Lowe's will also have on that daily deal, it's not always tools. Sometimes it's toilets, sometimes it's flooring, sometimes it's ceiling fans. Kind of like Forrest Gump says, like a box of chocolates, you don't know what you're gonna get. But you can save some money because a lot of times they're gonna have deals on DeWalt, Milwaukee, Rigid, anything from drills and combo kits all the way up to table saws, miter saws, that sort of thing. So I like to watch those channels or watch those websites for those deals. I'll drop a link in the description below to Home Depot, Lowe's, and maybe one or two more that have daily deals. Also rockler.com, woodcraft.com. They're constantly having sales. Just like any other business, they're gonna have sales. You can go check them out every from time to time to see what kind of sales they're having. A lot of times Rockler, Woodcraft, stuff like that will have monthly deals. Toolnut.com is an excellent place to buy tools as well as find good deals. I'm not associated with any of these people who I look at. So you wanna look at toolnut.com, the first thing you're gonna see, obviously, one of the, whatever they're featuring on that day or that week or that month or whatever is gonna be right there in the center. So as you scroll down, you got a banner there trying to advertise whatever they're trying to push that day. But if you go to the top, you'll see right in the middle, you'll see tool deals. You click on tool deals, that's gonna open up all the tool deals. This place is a good place to do that. Just go to the tool deals, scroll through here, They've got a little block. They've got it blocked off really nice. Uh, everything's very easy to see what's on sale. I like to scroll through here, kind of keep an eye on that stuff, see what actually is on sale, maybe get a good deal on some tools. 
This is toolguide.com, T-O-O-L-G-U-Y-D.com. Toolguide.com. I like this style because it's more of a blog style where he's posting deals constantly in the and the newest deals on the top of the page. So if you go there, you can just look uh, right on the far right side of the top banner there, you see deals. Click on that, that's gonna take you to the latest deals. And we've got some really good deals coming up, especially since we're in November, as the time of this recording, you got Black Friday coming. It's a good place to go to watch for Black Friday deals on tools. My number one website to keep up with tool deals, by far, slickdeals.net slash deals slash tools. The only thing on this page on slickdeals.net slash deal slash tools is tools. And whether it be hand tools, ladders, anything like that, your power tools are gonna be on there. I have found more deals watching this page. If you follow me on Instagram, Facebook, that sort of thing, you'll see on my stories, a lot of times I'll post deals. I'll say, hey, this is a good deal. So if I, if I know it's a good deal, it's a good deal. You will put it on my story and say, you should go check this out if you're in the market for this planer or this miter saw or this jointer or whatever you're in the market. And what's great about Slick Deals is they go out and find the best deal. It's, it's all user submitted. So people that know that this is a deal, they will submit it. It gets upvoted and downvoted, that sort of thing. So cream rises to the top. And so the first page, you're gonna get the best deals and then so on. You can actually sort by Amazon. You can sort by Home Depot. You can sort by Lowe's, whatever you're, if you prefer a store, you can sort that way. What's awesome about tool deals is you can actually search for the tool that you want. You can be generic and just say table saw. You can just go up to that search bar and just search table saw. If you just want to be real generic, when you search for that table saw, it's going to find all the table saw deals that it knows about. Then you can scroll down and look and see if one of those saws are in your budget and the ones that you want. We can search miter saw. Pull up that miter saw list and see if there's one in there that we like. If, especially if we're in the market for that miter saw. Of course, at the top, they're gonna to have some ads. Just scroll by those. Then you can see Metabo Cobalt DeWalt 779 12 inch sliding compound miter saw. That one right there, see that? $500 saw. They got it on sale for $349 right now at the time of this recording. That is a heck of a deal. So we click on that. If, we, if I wanted to buy that saw, I click on that deal. It's going to load up. It's a $469 regular price. It's on for $349 right now. And that's on Amazon.com. So you go there, click that. It's going to load up. It's going to get you free shipping if you got Prime. $349, that's a dang good deal for that saw because that saw is one awesome dude. I love that saw. That's why I hadn't got rid of it after I got that Delta. It was my first miter saw, but more than that, I just really like the saw. It's a really, really good saw. So from there, you can just add this to your cart and check out. Now let's say you are looking for a specific tool. You want the Craig K5 pocket hole jig like I'm using. How do you know when that one comes on sale? You know what time it is. Power tip time. My power tip is if you're looking for a specific tool or anything really, but we're talking tools today. If you're looking for a tool deal of a specific make and model of a tool, this is where you're gonna find that. And this will notify you when that tool goes on sale or when they get notified of the tool being on sale. So that's what's awesome. You don't have to constantly check back every day to see if it finally went on sale and you can finally get that deal of a lifetime you've been looking for. So what you do is when you go to slickdeals.net, you just look up there at that search bar and let's say we're looking for the Craig K5 because you like pocket holes like me and you want a K5 pocket hole jig. About a little ways down, it says 19 results found. So we're gonna scroll down and there are a couple of uh, deals. Acme Tools here has the K5 on for hundred bucks. Menards has it for 109. We're wanting to save a little more money than that. We're not ready to buy it at that price. If you look to the right, just above that banner that says Black Friday, that add a deal alert for K, Craig K5. You're gonna click on that. That added the deal alert, so you can click on it again. And now you see, it says Craig K5, and you see the other things that I've been looking for here. If you click edit, see the edit button. You wanna click that edit, this is where this is where you get to tell it or when, how often to message you. So if you want to select all of these, local deals, Black Fridays, freebie surveys, I wouldn't do all that. I would do hot deals, circular deals, local deals, Black Friday. That's what I would do. Then right here, you want everything to notify you. So it's gonna send an email to you. It's gonna send a private message to you on this website. So it'll send it, if you got an account here, it'll just send you basically an email and then a message on this site and you want it to notify you instantly. The instant that that thing picks up its own sale, bah, you're gonna be notified. Now on the sliding scale, the rating is how well others are rating it. So if it's a one, then it's not very highly rated. It's probably, 
either somebody posted it and it's not a good deal, and then so it gets downvoted. So you're looking at the scale one to popular, the higher the better. I leave it set where it's at because it's good at, uh, it's good at notifying you of a good deal if you just leave it. Just leave that, save it, and you're all done. That's the power tip. Now all you gotta do is wait for that email from slickdeals.net. When you get that email, bah, finna save some money. That's a really good deal. $3.99 and then you get two of those for free. Or two, no, $1.99 and get one free. That's pretty cool. I have no room for that, but I want one bad. Out of the Home Depot empty handed and they didn't get a dime from me. That's a win. Most especially because some of those deals were really good. The only reason I didn't buy anything is because I don't need anything. Man, if you're in the market for some combo kits, I think this year is going to be the year to buy. <laughs> Did you see that toolbox? I want it. I have no room for it. Zero. Like there is nowhere in here I could put that anywhere. Come on, let's check it out. Who's ready for a shop tour 2020? So I did a shop tour August of 2018. We're looking at, at the no space right now. None, I don't have any space for it, but it is fantastic. If I had room for it, I would love to have it, but I don't, so I ain't getting it. I know, I did a shop tour November of 2018. If you have not seen that, I'll drop a link in the description below. You can go check it out, what the shop actually looked like then. Oh my goodness, has it changed in two years. It is a huge change. I challenge you to go watch that. See how much things can change in two years. It's awesome. I mean, I have been more than blessed in this little shop. This little two-car garage has has transformed uh, like I would have never believed. So I'm gonna get around to hopefully doing a shop tour in the next few weeks. Um, not really sure what you would want to see in a shop tour. Drop a comment below and let me know what you want to know about my shop. I'll try to get that in that video. So I'll try to get a shop tour done if you're interested. Comment below if you are. If you're not, then we won't do one. Where do you go to find the best tool deals? Comment below, that way others can read that and they know where to go find those deals. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that box right there that'll take you to the next set of videos. Either one of these boxes right there, if you click on them, that's gonna earn you that virtual fist bump. Clicking those boxes helps this channel. It also takes you to the next set of videos that you're probably gonna enjoy, or at least I hope you do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that thumbs up and share it with your friends. I would greatly appreciate it.